Hello everybody, and welcome back once again to Super Metroid Z Factor, where we're opening gate switch things that open doors, but not the locked door that was in the room. Which means I've opened something somewhere, but I don't know what or where. Which is just great. So, back to exploring for more stuff. Maybe I'll find out what this thing is, but... We'll keep looking everywhere. See, in this room's interesting because it's got all this black space on the map beside it. So there could be a hidden room off to the side. And one of these funny looking blocks. And there's the nest of Novas, which are attacking me mercilessly. And that's the energy tank thing, I think. And I just let that guy hit me. Hooray. So, yeah. I am not sure if that gate thingy opened a, whatchamacallit, to get to Meridia, which would let me get to Grave, but... I guess we'll, ouch, that was brilliant, let's run right into the spike. I guess we'll find out here, maybe, who knows, all these little fuzzy blocks. <laughs> it's all these fuzzy things, now, as much as I like Norfair because the bubbles. I am not the biggest fan of these fuzzy things. I mean, you got the rocks, which are okay. I prefer the more red ones. Which is kind of ironic, because I hate red criteria. And it's a bad tile set. I will say that. And why am I going back? Red criteria... Okay, the tile set isn't bad. I'll, I, take, I do take that back. The palette is awful. That's an awful palette. Never use it. I don't want to see it. There's a lot of really bad palettes out there. And I believe Red Criteria started every one because it let anybody think they could go make a terrible palette and it'll be alright because there's Red Criteria. No. Don't use that line of thinking. Anyway. See, these red rocks are better. And the bubbles are obviously the best things, but then the, there's an item here that I can't get to because there's this gate facing the wrong way. And it's not giving up its secrets. And I'm melting. Yeah, I am not such a big fan of the fuzzy blocks. I don't know why, but... Hmm. Oh well. So, item behind a gate, I apparently can't do squat about. That's what was back here. This was a speed boost thing, which I can't do anything about either because I don't have a speed boost. I could do something about the gate, I just can't get to that side of the gate. And these little happy wavy things. Or polite things which drop energy for me. So, the question is, what did that switch open? And is it a path to Meridia, which will let me get to Kraid? Or something similar to something like that? Because I have no idea what in the world that switch did. It is a mystery to all mankind right now. And womankind, if you feel I must not include womankind in the phrase mankind, which would be strange. That is kind of... I guess maybe it's more the English language or something, but it's a lot of... 
things like that. Like, mankind you generally consider everybody. No matter what gender. And... I don't know, I guess the language just does it. And there's the thing down there. Maybe it's different in other languages where it's... You could say something like everybody where it's includes everybody but it's genderless but then the sentence like would have to be rephrased completely in English because you can't say you can't change all mankind into all everybody because it's redundant all everybody is completely redundant and a terrible sentence <laughs> Oh well. well, enough of the English language class for now. See, now I'm probably nowhere near the best to <laughs> say anything about it anyway. And that's lava. So there was this little thing down here. I'm trying to remember if this was power bomb or speed booster. This little notch that's not explored. And I just froze you in a completely terrible spot. And speed booster. Of course, I got power bombs. Let's not be able to use them to go on that path there. That's right. There's these things you freeze. Okay, well, jeez, I'm back here again. I have to go through this room again. This room... Not this one. This one. I have been back here too much. I need to stop coming back here. I like the little thing you've got going. Make it so I don't have to infinite bomb jump and all that fun stuff. But personally, I have been back here way too many times. And it's probably... Probably... See, there goes my amazing English. Probably. Because I'm being a complete idiot and missing stuff. And jumping into spikes like a moron. Twice. I'm probably missing something completely obvious. Now let me just go straight to crate and now everything will be fine. But no. I am going nowhere fast. And again, it's probably because I am doing stupid stuff. And I just froze my ride. There we go. Give me that. Your energy is most appreciated. And you are going to be my platform. Get back here. So yeah, this is a nice little thing. They don't have to infinite bomb jump, but it does add a little puzzle element to this room. But like I said, I've crossed it too many times. Although I did get wave beam back there, which is nice. Because wave beam is the best beam. Except for Grapple Beam. Wave Beam isn't really as powerful as Grapple. Speaking of Grapple, that would be nice to have too. So would Gravity and Speed Booster and Screw Attack. I guess all the other items would be nice to have. There's really not an item that isn't nice to have. Because that would be... Oh, I'm, I am trying to think now if there is a game with an item you have to collect, but it isn't particularly nice to have, which I seriously doubt there is something like that. I don't know. I guess in Mario 3, Mario Brothers 3, it's nice to have a fire flower, but not if you have a hammer suit, but that's kind of conditional on having something better already. I don't... And that would really be pretty bad game design if you make the player have to collect something that is not nice to have. 
that would... I do not think there's a situation where that would be an acceptable <laughs> game design. So this is probably a stupid line of thought I'm going down. Oh well. Now we have lava. And these dragon things. I'm sure if I played Skyrim at all, I could come out. I fell right through the platform. If I played Skyrim at all, I probably could come up with something about the dragons, because I hear so much about those in that game. But, I have never played Skyrim, so I have no idea if there's anything I can connect with them. So, no more bad puns for that. I'll have to look it up now, see if I can do it. Back to caterpillars. <laughs> now, yes, there's power bomb box, which I've been up there. Dipped myself in lava, I believe. So, why not? I went back and checked around that room that I'm getting tired of. So why not check up here? Oh, hey. Why didn't I go this way? What in the world is... Oh! That's right, there was a gray door there. What is this? And reserve tank, that's... That's what that gate switch thing opened. It did not open up a path to Meridia, it opened up a path to a reserve tank. Which does not help me find my path in any way whatsoever, but it's my first reserve tank, and I do like collecting items. That's actually interesting. So yes, door scrolls, you can see. Screen doesn't scroll up that way, but it's the same room. So. Here's probably how it was set up, because if you're thinking along the lines, well, that room with the gray door was not the same as the one with the gate switch, I'm going to guess you're probably correct with that. And this is what was back here. Oh, yes. I didn't find anything back here last time. I'm dying. I don't want to die. I would rather not melt at this point in my playing experience. Okay. But yes, the gate switch PLM thingy was not connected up to this room. And I believe you're correct with that. However, you can still make it open the gray door in that room without any special... Oh yeah, bomb block. ASM or anything. Because all you have to do to do such a thing is have it connected up to a gray door on the other side, the side with the reserve tank, because that's the same room. So once you open that gray door, you can have it so the door never comes back once it's opened. So once that's done, you just. Oh! I'm much lower on energy than I called. I should quit talking about great doors and pay attention to not dying again. At least I can get stuff here. But yeah. Ouch. That was brilliant. You connect the peel it, the gate thing to the gray door in the same room. You make it so that when it's opened it never respawns. And the gray door on the other side, you make sure the same index as the gray door you opened with the gate thing. Because that way when that door is opened, the game will read that index is open and it's not supposed to respawn. Then the door on the other side will not be there, or the gray door lock. So that's how you would do something like that. If you're wondering, which you probably not, and but you got an explanation of it anyway. So go 
I don't know. Hi, desky guy. I saw you coming. Blue things. Brinstar. Trade and all that. Trade would be nice right now. I just have to figure out... What obvious path I am missing. This hack has not been hard at all. I don't know why I'm having this much trouble finding a path to a giant green lizard thing. Darn it. Just checking that because of Mockingbird Station. Which, if you haven't seen how X-Ray, haven't seen or you don't know how X-Ray is hidden in Mockingbird Station, it's it's crazily. It's like the door that was blocking Crocomire in this hack. Except you didn't have to destroy enemies to open it. It was a gray door. Except it was in a special tile set where the super missile door was changed to look like a gray door. So it opened when you shot it with a super missile because it was really a super missile door. Which was mean. However, the difference between that and the door blocking Krakenmire and this hack is that was for a single item and just x-ray that was all Mockingbird Station's evil door was blocking that was it it was not a required path in fact you you could probably play through that hack multiple times and never find that because that area was pretty well hidden yes I am still a little upset at that door in this hack but I should get over that now. I should probably find Kraid. And I got the whole new area that's blocked off by a water speed booster and gate facing the wrong way. No questions. What? I'm sure by the time this video is up, because by the time this is up, I will have beat the hack. I will have played through the whole thing. I'm going to beat it before I start editing any of these parts together and doing all that fun stuff. But by the time this video goes up, I'm sure someone will be telling me where to go, which I will know because I've already beat the hack. That is something to keep in mind. If you're watching this, I have beat this and you're watching it because it's finished and I'm editing it together and uploading it. So, I do know where to go. Kind of, probably. Or I'll have figured it out. Doesn't mean I will know where to go. I just figure it out. Although that is kind of interesting because different people get to, especially if there's multiple paths, which I guess really there probably isn't, but normally aren't but different people come up with different ways of doing things which is kind of neat to see how they how you guys they I'm calling you guys they I don't like coming back this way why is this so difficult um, oh yeah spikes damage boost not like that. Not like that. There we go. Oh. No. Oh, well, that worked out. But yes, I will... I don't know. It's just... I'll figure this out somehow. Just... Good grief. I don't know why I'm being so bad at looking around for stuff. Uh, that blue dot's annoying me because I can't reach it. It's 
just get rid of this wall. So yeah, I guess if you know where to go or whatever, wherever this video ends up going up or whatever, go ahead, even though I, I, I already know it, go ahead and post or something because somebody may have that question. And if you know the answer and you've got like a simple explanation or something, that way it's there, they can see it. Hopefully it'll help somebody out. That's kind of a reason why I really like this hack so far is because nobody knows absolutely anything about this hack except for Metaquarius. It's the one guy who had anything to do with this hack. No testers or whatever, so... The whole community here in Metcon, Metroid Construction is... Well, not the whole community, but been a pretty large number of us that's finding stuff out and figuring out what to do where to go and all that fun stuff that's been pretty fun actually it's offering up a completely new challenge that's we haven't seen before so like I know I have to go find Kraid just getting to crate is a whole nother matter. And there was this room with the gates. And these bugs, which are sprouting out of tubes. Because bugs always sprout out of tubes. They don't normally sprout out of anything but tubes and pretty obvious dips in the landscape. Stab me in the back with your rhinoceros horn. Yeah. So here's the gates. See, I'm wondering if I can actually beat the gates to closing. That's what I'm supposed to do. This bug is not helping. The question is... No, that's not going to happen. Those are not based on timer. Those are based on proximity and they close way too fast. I don't think a shine spark could get through that, so... It looks like there's probably another entrance over there for... just to get to the missiles. And power bombs don't destroy the gates. So, this is a fun little experiment gone awry. So, while we're back here, go away bug, I should go ahead and ask what you think of the Green Burn Star theme. Now, I'm asking this because a lot of people, and I will say rightfully so, really like the theme. It's Pretty much they're a lot of people's favorites. And Super Metroid is... W I am not... I like it, but I am not, like, the hugest fan of it. I don't... No, I, I like r the Rock and Meridia Red Brinstar themes much more than this one. I mean, it's not a bad theme at all, but... I guess I just don't like it nearly as much as some other people do. So, who knows what, whatever your opinion on it is, who knows. That is kind of something I find interesting too, is that my taste in music and has similar similarities to dad, my brothers, and not so much my mom's, but, but it's similar to, or there's some, and this waiver's evil for being right there, but there's similarities between our musical tastes and even with my sisters, somewhat, to an extent. 
but there's some similarities between that, but we also have very different tastes besides things we do <laughs> like in common. I don't know, this is kind of weird to me. I mean, the same family and all that. But, you know, diff vastly different likes in some in instances. And I cannot talk at all right now. I may have to take a... B I think I've been searching for Kraid for too long as messing up my vocal cords. Of course, normally I'm also finished by now and not talking at all. And this is that stupid missile. Why is there this missile reef over? It is annoying me t that there's this thing here. And those tubes in the ground. Where are you, Kraid? Or I know where you are. How do I get to you? Quit hiding. How can a big green lizard hide? And another thing is, how can he bury himself in the ground. How does he get buried in there? What is he eating while he's hiding in there? Because unless he knows exactly when Samus is coming, he's just in the ground hiding out until she arrives. So what is... I don't know, these all these useless questions with just thinking way too far into things about stuff that makes no sense whatsoever. Oh yeah, there was the power bomb all here. Maybe I am a complete idiot. Grab this. Maybe I... Item? And the uh, power bomb. Well, I have another power bomb. I was almost excited to find the path to trade there, but apparently not. And that's... Interesting. What did you leave those in for? I would like to know why those were left in like that. I don't know why you would leave the black part covering the stuff like that. Oh well. Oh well. We'll just leave it at that. energy refill in there, which I don't need. Well, I've collected more items. That's good. I just wish I collected more items on the way to Kraid, because that would be even better. And there's already a connection in here somewhere. So how do I get to Meridia? What is up with this hack? It went from telling me where to go to <laughs> just throwing me in the middle of nowhere and saying, go find it yourself. Which there's nothing wrong with. I am just having a terrible time finding out what I'm doing with. I don't know why. Probably because I've played this too long. I may have to take another break. Stretch it over another day. Oh, hey. I apparently never found this before. That's not obvious enough by the map and these caterpillars. Interesting. New stuff down here. I may have just broke the code. Except this is just the other side of the missile thing, isn't it? Well... I have found items. See, I am still finding new stuff. So it's not like I'm stuck in a small area just not knowing where to go. I am in a very large area where I can explore all over the place, keep finding more items and stuff and spiking myself to death without actually getting anywhere, it seems. 
this is unusual. I don't think I've quite played a hack that has done this like this. Okay, back in this room. I am really. I am confounded. I'll find this whatever it is here eventually, but. I just. Hmm. I am really just turned around in this hack. Ouch. And I seem to like spiking myself for some reason for no purpose other than the ouch. And I ran into this pirate for no reason. Okay. This gray door is out. I keep jumping into things now. This gray door. It's also being a major annoyance. Because how else? Get out here. You too. How? It's a super. I want that. I don't know. Where else to be looking? Maybe in this spike pit. This could be bombable in here. I wouldn't pass this person to throw something in there, even though I haven't really come across that yet. Hmm. I think I already destroyed those things and checked the door. Yeah, because it's still locked. Doesn't seem to be a hidden path around this door, so. And there's this Meridia connection. How in the world do I get to Meridia to get back into Burnstar to find Kraid? Who's guarding who knows what, because I do not know that. So. Hmm. 